All right, round two. Let's say hello and good luck to the opponent. Polite aggression. Would I like to play first? Um, yes, I would, though could easily see myself not playing first. Again, here's another really sweet lucky hand. Nope, not going to mulligan because we have a dutiful thrall to start going up the ground right away, as well as a tide drinker on turn two, all of our colors, and um, any land gets us uh, the rest of our spells access to in hand. So we are in a decent spot right now. And I am perfectly happy for that. Let's see what polite aggression has brewing. I do kind of think this might be the deck that wants to actually um, draw first, because I'm pretty greedy in the types of cards that I want, um, in terms of how many I want. But I'm really weak to some other, like, you know, two color fast deck. I don't think I can give my opponent that edge. That's the way I lose. Yeah, having a mock on turn four, as well as a Warleader's Helix to uh, remove anything super scary is pretty good. Seems like my opponent does have a two drop, which is a bummer. Always nice tacking in with Tithe Drinker. <laughs> wow. Just the nuts right now. Um, I can attack in with Dutiful Thrill. Probably. Not gonna block. Do I want to? Yeah, I don't really care about that two two anyway. It's gonna get outclassed pretty quickly, so we'll do this with a uh, extort trigger. And then yeah, we are just set for some sweet love in the near future. Crackling print. Okay, that is interesting. Tap it under you control. Okay, so that can kind of get there. Uh, right now, though, um, what does my opponent want to do? What do I want to do? I might just want to get aggressive, kill the Nivix Guild Mage right now, get in for one, two, three, for five, since my opponent might be just like pinging me out. Would I rather have a 3-3 on board, or would I rather use a trick? Um, nah, we'll... Just attack in with the Guild Mage. Because we only have one activation up, so my opponent wants to block. We'll just kill it. That's fine. And then, uh, yeah. Play Rubble Belt Maka. Don't care about the extort trigger. I'd rather just have a 3-3 pressure up right away. Um, so it can start doing damage quickly. opponent seems to have a sweet brew going on. Curious to see what that might be. Uh, can do two damage to my face each turn. Probably not what I'm excited about. It looks like that might just be the current next game plan. Attacking with both of these guys? Yeah, that seems okay by me. Um, and then if there's some trick, we have the backup for it. That I'm okay with. Not that I'm very okay with. Do an extra point of damage. No need to waste the War Leader's Helix on anything right now. Okay. So, um, is it Static Caster's gonna go ahead and finish off the Rubble Belt Maka? Which is okay. Rather be that than something else, even though it's going to take out the Tide Drinker. That's a bummer. Or should take out the Tide Drinker. I mean, it could go ahead and take out the Dutiful Throw while I'm tapped out, but that doesn't seem like a great idea. Or Stab Wound. Wow, okay. So my opponent has just officially dumped the hand. And I need to draw some spells. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, attack in with Dutiful Thrall, do one point of damage, play the Boros Clue Stone. War Leader's Hooks, and is it Static Caster? It's going to be a whole lot, because I can just um, regenerate the swan, uh, the Dutiful Thrall um, as needed. Yeah, I think that's the play right now. 
since I now officially have nothing else going on. And we will be able to cycle this clue stone and have regeneration up. Say just for denizen. Yep, that's a thing. Cycle our card, get another land. Last thing we need. More action. Um, yeah, I don't mind generating it right now. Not a big deal. You might hold me back. Still don't feel the need to really take these guys out. I'm taking some points of damage a turn with cracking, crackling perimeter, sage or denizen here and there, but uh, for the most part, I mean maybe I do just take the is it static caster because it's always tapping down my dutiful thrall, and dutiful thrall is what allows me to kind of keep the sage or denizen alive. I just don't want to waste my uh, war leader's helix on is it static caster. <sighs> Maybe I do it. No, we'll wait some turns. Oh, there's a Gorehouse Chainwalker. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna play it. Allows me to keep some pressure up. That's my opponent. Wanted. Okay, counterfluxing my Gorehouse Chainwalker. I'm okay with that. Maybe. Huh. Got the mana? Why not? Taking three a turn now. I do have the Helix to gain me some life. That's okay. And I'm much more just worried about a larger threat that I can't deal with, with the cards that I can draw. Really interesting match though, with my opponent's kind of crazy brew. Um, totally got blown out by getting rid of all of my uh, different cards there. Um, but now that I kind of see what my opponent has, I can be aware of that. Is Ecstatic Caster being one of those ones I don't really play that much around. Yeah, I kind of feel like Death Cult Rogue is exactly the kind that I want to do. Please don't do Angelic Skirmisher, please. Ooh, Highly Valor would have been good. Glad that Rakdos Gilgate's gone. Mm, we'll still hang on to our guy for the moment. Um, and then, yeah, we'll play our Gatekeeper. Four. Just helps get some more D available. Play our land. And pass the turn. Um... I think I get rid of the Dutiful Thrall now and go ahead and uh, kill the Isaac Static Caster because it keeps my Gatekeepers back. But if I can't deal with the uh, Death Cult Rogue, I'm in some trouble. Let's see what my opponent does.
Gosh, I don't know what the right decision is here. If I should uh, remove it, is Ecstaticaster or not? I'm taking all this damage with this dude. Um, no, I'm just going to keep regenerating it. It's not awesome. I'm taking more and more damage, but I think I have to do that. Who knows, maybe a discard spell. Oh, great, another Gilgate. Now there's real damage coming through. It's five a turn with Death Cult Rogue in this. So I think, yeah, I think, because um, at any point my opponent wants to, start doing some serious damage um, with Crackling Perimeter and Death Cult Rogue. So I think the War Leader's Helix has to take out Death Cult Rogue. More pressure to the board? Ooh, Balustrade's by. Not Angelic Skirmisher. Not Angelic Skirmisher. Oof, that was a good one. Boros Mastiff. Good card. Um, yeah, while my opponent's tapped out, we'll go ahead and kill the Death Cult Rogue. I don't have anything that can deal with it. I have flyers that will eventually be able to deal with the Balustrades by only one. <laughs> but, um, kind of got to play it. And soon enough, we might be able to have an offensive here to where, uh, Shoot. He's ecstatic caster. Yep. Regenerate. Taking five a turn still, three turn clock. Call the Nightwing. Oi. My opponent's just going to see a bunch of my deck start winning, but I have a lot that can't happen. So, I can't just give up now. I want to give up now, but I can't. I just can't. Uh, I probably put my call on my own horror, so I don't have any flyers out now, and if there's a removal spell, I'd rather... Uh, I mean, now I'm definitely taking out the balustrade spy, that's for sure. Smite. Well, that's not going to do a whole lot in the near future. Doing a whole bunch of damage here. In the air. Is it Static Caster? That's fine. Because my opponent doesn't want me getting any life, which makes a lot of sense. Good call. And Duck Skirmisher could get us there. Three or four, and then plus seven. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of damage. I put a keep seeing my deck. Okay, at least Angelic Skirmisher has not been seen. But I'm about to get milled out here. I guess not about. I'm gonna die from life first. Oof. So this guy gets it a little bit. Um, all right, so if we attack with these guys, one, two, three, can start doing some blocks. So do I just do lifelink? Attacking with both, gain four life, um, and then get rid of a horror with my Boros Mastiff as needed? Yeah, I kinda think I do. I'm gonna choose lifelink just cause I need it. And I don't think the blocks are gonna be particularly relevant. It's my only way to stay alive right now. I 
does kind of throw away my Boros Mastiff. One, two, three, four does finish off the Sunspire Gatekeeper. Um, am I willing to trade a Sunspire Gatekeeper for um, the life that I'm gaining? It's going to only be for one, one of the guys. Otherwise, yeah, we just want life at this point and try to win with Angelic Skirmisher. Maybe get rid of the Sunspire Gatekeeper is what's going to happen. Interesting, yeah. Well, I just want the life. And that is fine by me. My opponent takes one, and I gain five life. That's fine by me also. Gotta pay attention to time here. Sorry, I think I'm pretty hard. This will help with the life gain. We lose the Boros Mastiff, which I needed to do just to have the life, because I have six coming in here. Jug Skirmisher is gonna have to be first strike. I guess it doesn't have to be, but I kind of want it to be. I don't really want life gain on top of it. In your real spell, oh yeah, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, right? Six. So there's six damage there. I'm at three. Pretty sure there's nothing else I can do. And that's it, right? Eight. Yeah, there's just nothing to do. I mean, my opponent's basically seen my entire deck, but can't imagine anything else happening to make it really good. Okay, so that was a beating once uh, my opponent was able to clear out my early offense and then just get online. Um, and it was kind of luck of the draw. I kind of do like my odds against what my opponent's playing. I have a very powerful deck. My opponent had Crackling Perimeter to get that going. This Ecstatic Aster was kind of an all-star, so I couldn't play around it. It does take out my Tithe Drinkers. Um, I don't think my opponent's really caring much about Dutiful Thrall, but maybe. I mean, again, it does help me get there, but is there anything I really want to bring in? Pursuit of Flight, just to make something bigger. There's really nothing I want to take out. just kind of like the idea of Dutiful Thrall. Um, I just don't think I need it against my opponent. So what would be better? Pursuit of Flight? Play it on a Tide Drinker when, it, uh, when my opponent taps out at some point? Yeah, let's do that. Just have a little more beef. Too bad it's not an enchantment. Could also bring in Clear the Path to get rid of Is Ecstatic Caster, but honestly, I'm not as worried about Is Ecstatic Caster. Now it takes out the Tide Drinker and helps combat a little bit better, but I think I have more going on than my opponent does in that realm, so I'm okay with that. Let's go there. Do you want to play first? Normally, yes. In this case, no. Let's see what my opponent is like. What? I'm absolutely bad. Let me take some to six. No. It allows my opponent to get online fast as well, but uh, that's perfectly okay. Okay, play quickly, play quickly. I'm gonna win these next two games to get there. Okay, my opponent has the guilds. I have Tide Drinker, which could definitely get, um, you know, is ecstatic caster, but I think there's enough of an upside getting this on board early that it's worth playing, that's for sure. Is ecstatic caster? No, oh, Sages or Denison. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, we'll go ahead and play Transguild Promenade past the turn, right? Yeah. Suggest that I don't have Smite in any way, shape, or form. 
just be F16 here. Is Ecstatic Caster? <laughs> Freaking me out. No, it's moving for four. Ooh, Balustrade's by. Okay. Mill some cads. Oh, Smog Elemental. It's a good card. So it's bid fight. Tax in for two. I do not block. All right, another Tide Drinker. So option to play Pursuit of Flight with Extort. Bash in for four lifelink while my opponent's tapped out. Also, to allow me to protect the Tide Drinker later from an Isaac Static Caster. Uh, I kind of like that idea. I also like gaining some life to keep my life alive versus playing a random Cobble Brute, which isn't going to do anything. It's Balustrade Spy. Um, otherwise, I could um, not play it with Extort and keep Executioner Swing up. But yeah, I'm not worried about that at the moment. I just want to get this beat in. Well, my opponent's tapped out. But there's no counter spell action. Boros Clue Stone. Okay, that is good, sort of. Opponent probably just bashing in. Does my opponent want to keep defense up? Okay, a couple more mills. Yep. So the race is on, apparently. I think I could win a race. Can give my guy flying, get for sure four points of damage in, though I'm actually happy just to trade it off. So we're definitely attacking in. And then what do I want to use my mana for? One, two, three, four, five. I can keep two up for Executioner's Swing. Also get a, a two drop down. Not overly excited by that. Maybe just get Tithe Drinker online. Tithe Drinker with an, a, one Extort Trigger. Um, give Pursuit of Flight a chance. It doesn't maximize my mana. Um, maybe Tithe Drinker, one Extort, keep Executioner's Swing up. Uh, yeah, I actually like that. Um, I very much like that. Okay. Because now all my guys are doing two a turn. Um, unless, of course, like, is it static cast or something comes down, at which point I'm able to uh, execution or Aww. Well, that is a bummer. Um, very good card, of course. And now I'm very much open to Is Static Caster coming on. Though, so hopefully, um, discard a card. Gutter Skulk. Milling some cards out, including some of my good removal spells. And what are we killing here? I might need the Executioner Swing to deal with the Demrova Horror. Hold on. Um, and then maybe I want the Executioner Swing with Extort Triggers. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to do five spells. I have three um, to get the Extorts online. Yes, I do think for now I just take it. Um, is Ecstatic Caster is going to be a major issue. This is actually good because it's a spell I can Extort. Um, so we'll play two. Yeah. Play the Tithe Drinker with Extort again. Helping me stay alive. Helping me stay alive. And I think we're going to try to win with Extort. And um, see what else happens. My opponent can do 10 to me. Is it Static Caster? Ugh, it would be so bad here. So bad. Yep, there it is. What a bummer. Ugh. Oh well. Super blowout. Okay, so how do we win this game? We're definitely killing the Demrova Horror with our um, Executioner Swing. Then what? We just get bashed in for a bunch over and over and over again. Boom. Gotta take it. Counterflux is even up, right? 
Probably not going to see it. Press the advantage. Ogre Jailbreaker. Okay. Get rid of that guy. Ooh, Gilgate. Awesome. So all I can do is one spell. I mean, I can play Clue Stone and a Rick's Mahdi, right? One, two, one, two, three. But then it's like it doesn't even matter. So yeah, Cobble Root. And our Angelic Skirmisher is gone. Don't see much hope in this. Just got the chair off with the Ogre Jello Breaker here. Take one, two, three, take six, go down to three, and then don't see um, a bounce back at, in any way, shape, or form. Ooh. Is that it? I assume five, six, seven. Yeah, it's got to be it. Ouch. GG's, though, opponent. That was a sweet deck. Um, uh, yeah, so that was interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, really liked my deck. Um, wasn't too sure if there's a way, I mean, there's definitely that blowout in the first game, um, where I had that early board advantage, and then just, is it Static Caster coming down? I'm not too sure if here there is a way for me to get around my opponent's beats. I knew Isaac Static Caster was going to get me with that Tide Drinker play, but I don't know if there's really any other um, good way to go. Um, possibly there could have been the line of play of not playing Pursuit of Flight and instead trying to just get more um, versatile type of threats out on the board. Um, again, not too sure. You tell me if you think that. I do think this was a really fun draft. I uh, really enjoyed the three colors, liked the deck, and I really liked my opponent's deck, despite that it beat me in round two. I didn't even get to the finals, but, you know, that happens in Magic. But with that, I will sign off. Again, I'm Ryan with Mana Bluff. Uh, leave comments on manabluff.com or uh, comment, subscribe, or like on YouTube. You can find me on Twitter, underscore, underscore, RJH, underscore, underscore. And thank you for watching. See you next week. Oh, have a great pre-release, guys. Um, I hope everyone's going out to a pre-release for M14. Have some fun. Okay, now I'll say goodbye. Adios.